So I would pick up the Seiko uh, Mod Yacht Master. Um, fabulous watch, stainless steel, very sporty. Um, looks like a very familiarly known Yacht Master that we all, uh, all seen and love, but this one is a bargain for the price it is. For one, of, well, one of my favorite pieces is the Cartier Santos, and this one is the XL version. Absolutely gorgeous watch and one for the future collectors because this is super, super hot right now. Well, there's only one that I would get and this is one that every collector should have. And this is the Rolex Submariner uh, 41 millimeter um, ceramic dial. This is the only watch that you can wear in every single occasion, whether it's uh, formal or casual. It's the one watch for everything. Um, I think it's the same with everyone. No one wants to be a, no one goes out to be a watch collector. You buy one watch, you really start enjoying it, and then you see another one, and then you, you want to get that one as well. And for me, it started with the Breitling. Um, it was the first um, expensive luxury watch I bought. Um, and then from there, I, I looked at uh, Panerai. Uh, I really, really liked them. And then I moved into the uh, crazy world of Rolexes. So right now I have seven uh, in my own personal collection. They're all Rolexes, um, very sports focused. So I've got some Mariners, I've got uh, the GMTs, and I've also got Daytonas as well. So I really am now looking at the new uh, GMT2 with the black and gray bezel um, in Jubilee. 